What is the Swarm? The Swarm is a steel wing coaster made by the manufacturer B&M. It was the second wing coaster in the world to be constructed and the first to include the signature dive drop. This is where the train turns 180 degrees and completes the second half of the loop. Side note here, there are actually only four of these drops in the world and all of them can be found on B&M wing coasters. Also it's called a wing coaster or wing rider as the riders are suspended over the side of the track not above or below. The Swarm itself is codenamed LC12 and opened in 2012 costing the large sum of £20 million. It is located at Thorpe Park in the United Kingdom, roughly 30 kilometres outside of the capital, London. The track is 775 metres long and stands 39 metres high before plummeting to the ground underneath the ruins of a commercial plane. At this crucial point the riders are travelling at the top speed of 59 miles per hour. After passing underneath the plane's wing, the riders experience three more inversions, a zero-g roll, a corkscrew, and then finally an inclined twist. All of this is completed in 44 seconds of ride time, between when the train is released to when it hits the final brake run. As the riders fly around the track, they pass a large number of themed elements. These include a grounded helicopter, a destroyed ambulance, a submerged fire truck, a damaged billboard, a derelict church, and my personal favourite, a red phone box. The entire ride is heavily themed, it stands on its own island which is to the right of the park. This means that the entire area can be themed to the apocalyptic battle that takes place against what is known as the Swarm. These are basically bird-like alien creatures that soar through the sky, destroying anything in their path. When riders board the Swarm, they are taken captive by this alien creature. Each train carries 28 riders, which is split up into 7 rows of 4. Two trains can be the track at any one time, resulting in a decent throughput of 1,300 riders per hour. As track lies between each pair of riders, there are two loading stations. Towards the end of the queue, the guests can decide whether they would like to face the left side or the right side of the swarm. Both sides give the rider a completely different experience. This is because the riders are often at different heights relative to the track. To raise awareness for their new roller coaster, Thought Park released images of dummies that had lost their limbs during a test run. These images were very convincing at the time, but were only part of a publicity stunt with the aim to spread the word about the swarm. The famous band, Yumi at Six, also created a single for the ride that is played throughout the queue line. The song, fittingly named The Swarm, was released on iTunes shortly after the ride opened. The ride saw some major improvements a year after it opened. A huge new billboard was added. This was placed in the path of the track, meaning that the riders would fly through it after the second inversion. The last two rows of the train were also reversed. This meant you could brave it backwards. As the tagline suggested, you could ride the swarm facing the wrong way. Personally, I think riding backwards is an interesting thrill, but it just can't beat facing forward on the front row. What's your opinion? Oh, and it was designed by the one and only John Wardley. Again.